Hey guys, it's Chantranas and I am back with another video. So this is makeup that I did for Pride Month a couple months ago and I meant to film it a long time ago but I just didn't have the time and um, I finally got around to doing it so I'm super happy about that. I hope you guys really like this makeup look. I identify as pansexual. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that in any of my videos or anywhere but I have mentioned it on Tumblr and on Instagram and basically pansexual um, meaning I'm okay with all genders, doesn't matter who you are. It's hearts, not parts. I really like that catchphrase. And in the photo that I had when I originally did the makeup, I had this heart choker on, which I thought was really cute. And the pansexual pride is blue, yellow, and pink. So I did those colors. I did blue eyeshadow, pink eyeshadow, and then yellow eyeliner, which I think is really cute. And I hope you guys like the video. I did notice there's not many pansexual inspired makeup videos out there. So this is for you guys. Um, this is for anyone, honestly, but, you know, specifically for the pan girls and boys and everyone else, you know, the pan people. <laughs> um, yeah, so I hope you guys like it. And then remember to leave me a comment if you like it. Leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a like. Those help out so much. And I really do appreciate all the feedback and the support that you guys give me. And if you like the video, please subscribe. I would love it if you guys would join the family. I don't really have a name for my subscribers yet, but if you guys could think of any cool ones, please let me know because that would be really cute to call you guys something. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys like the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. So we are going to start off with this foolproof brow powder and this is a new brow powder from Benefit. It's actually not going to be coming out for about another month or so but um, I, this is my first time using it. A lot of the products I'm using today are, I've, I'm going to be using for the first time but this is the new way that I do my eyebrows so I just kind of wanted to update you guys on that. Basically what I'll do is I'll take whatever brow product that I'm using, doesn't matter if it's a pomade, a pencil. Um, a powder and then I do little strokes kind of to mimic the microblading effect um, that I've been seeing a lot on Instagram I just fill in a couple of different spots and then I conceal around them um, as much as I want if I want to go natural I'll just do underneath if I want it to go a little more glam I'll do on top as well and this side this time of doing my eyebrows I only did the bottom and then um, the ends of my brows so I didn't even do the front portion and they look really good they literally took me like five minutes and they look amazing I like this powder a lot I'll give you guys an update when I use it more often but so far so good I like it a lot and I didn't use the brush that comes with it I actually used my own angled eyeliner brush Next, I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color orange and then I color corrected off of camera and went in with the LA Girl HD foundation and it is called the Pro Coverage Foundation. I am in the color Coffee. So I'm blending that out with my Real Techniques sponge and this is my first time using this sponge. It's super soft and really big, which is kind of a pro and a con. Um, I like how soft it is, it's just, um, when I blended out my concealer, it was kind of hard to go into the smaller spaces. And I know that they have a smaller beauty, I almost called it a beauty blender, oh my god. I know they have a smaller sponge uh, meant for under the eye, but I kind of wanted just one sponge to do everything. And this one is okay, so I'm just going to keep using it and see how I feel. Next, I'm taking my Shape Tape in the color Deep, I believe it is. And this is my first time using this one as well. Um... I just kind of wanted to see how it will come off on camera and then later on in person but I really like the color match it reminds me a lot of the NARS concealer that I use um, at least the color match go like as far as the color match goes it reminds me of the NARS and I'm using my real techniques I keep saying it so weird oh my god real techniques sponge and I'm using that to blend out the concealer um, I've noticed that the real technique sponge does absorb a lot of the products so that's kind of annoying but I'm assuming that's because it's a new sponge and then after me using it for a while it'll um, not absorb as much I think I don't really know how if that's even true but that's true in the case of what I, when I use my beauty blender and I'm using the sponge to just kind of blend out the concealer everywhere. 
it does blend out pretty nicely and I believe it goes to a matte finish so that's pretty nice as well because I do have oily skin so I need something that's going to be matte and stay on all day and this is just me blending it out for forever and a day I might have put on a little bit too much concealer but that is okay because the sponge absorbed a little bit of the extra concealer so a pro in that area um, so far I do like the sponge though and the concealer and um, I'm just gonna keep blending it out there and then I use whatever was left over of my concealer and using that to kind of carve out um, underneath my cheekbones there right under where I usually contour next I'm taking my Laura Mercier powder and using that to highlights uh, sorry I'm using my Laura Mercier powder to bake underneath the eyes this is just the translucent powder I like this a lot and I have not found a powder that is as good as this one I tried the Too Faced Born This Way or sorry the Too Faced um, setting powder the new one that came out and I hated it so I don't know if I'm gonna switch setting powders anytime soon but if you guys know of a good one please let me know because my Laura Mercier is my ride or die honestly at this point like she never does me wrong and I will never well, I will not switch anytime soon. Next, I'm taking my JCAT Beauty Hollywood palette in this color pink right there. Just to let you guys know, I did prime my eyelids beforehand using my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and my NYX White Eyeshadow Base. And those are the two that I always use before using any colorful eyeshadows. And I'm blending this out with my Sigma, I think it's an E40 brush. Going in with the Round Crease brush from B Bella. This is the number 114 brush and using that to kind of concentrate the color in my crease and then also making the shape that I'm going for I'm kind of going for like a um, like a cut crease like a pointed don't know what to call this it's cut crease okay then going in with my um, NYX white eyeshadow base to cut my crease and this is a wet and wild brush I think it's a concealer brush so I'm looking at the brush right now it just it literally just says wet and wild but I love these brushes because they're a dollar and then they work really good to cut your crease I mean, who, I mean, who, like, who's going to be that? A dollar for a brush, right? So I'm using that Wet n Wild brush to cut my crease. And then I'm going in with this, I believe this is from Vanity Planet. I don't know what this brush is called, but it's just a very tiny brush that I use to kind of clean up my cut creases. And going in with the pink um, there to do that, to give it a more defined look. So now I'm going in with that blue color from the JCAT Beauty palette. It's so pretty. It's one of my favorite colors in the palette. Going over that on the inner and outer portions of my eye. Um, I'm kind of doing like a halo cut crease, if that makes any sense. And then I'm leaving a space in the middle because that's where I'm going to put green, just to give it a little bit of dimension. Next, I'm going in with the green from the Hollywood palette and placing that right smack dab in the center of my eyelid. And then I'm going in with the blue again just to kind of blend the two together to make it look a little seamless. So the blue shades into the green and then it shades back into the blue. And then I'm cleaning up underneath the little area there with some shape tape. I just took some that was on the end of my brush and um, kind of carved it out. I made it into a super sharp line. Next, I'm going in with my Alchemist palette. This is my baby. And then going in with the green, I'm putting that right on my lid to give it more of a, 
I don't know what to call this, like just to make it stand out a lot more. I love layering the Alchemist palette over my eyeshadow looks because it makes it stand out so much more. And going in with my green eyeliner from Urban Decay, if I'm going to be completely honest, I don't even think they make this color anymore, but if you can find a um, teal color from Urban Decay, it would look great either way. And then going in with my NYX Ultimate palette and then that blue right there, that matte blue. And blending that out underneath my eye. The brush that I'm using for that is actually an IT Cosmetics brush and it's a dual eyeshadow brush. It has a smudger and an all-over shadow brush on it. I use the smudger a lot. And then going in with my NYX eyeliner and this is the yellow liner. I believe it's called the Vivid Halo. And basically I'm just following the outline of my cut crease and then going over the middle portion of my eye. I don't know why I did it this way, but I liked how it came out, so I just kind of kept it the same. And then going in with the Hollywood palette in that white shimmery color right there and using that on the inner corner and then also on my brow bone. And then going in with my Alchemist palette again and using the pink shade on the brow bone. And I believe I put a tiny, tiny bit on the inner corner as well. Next, I'm taking my City Color Sparkle and Shine Loose Glitter in the shade Countdown, I believe it's called. And I just use that and my NYX Glitter Glue on the inner corner of my eye. So I'm taking my Anastasia Blush Trio in the color Cocktail Party and then the shade that I'm using is called Vegas. If anyone knows of a blush by itself that looks the same, I would, I would literally die because I'm trying to find a blush by itself that looks like this because it is honestly one of my favorite colors to use on my cheeks. I live for this color. I don't even know what it's called, like a terracotta. I don't know, but I love it to death and if I could find one like a bigger size, I'd be so in love with you please tell me <laughs> please tell me if you know something and then this is a new lip thing from nyx it's called their super clicky and the color that i got was called conform and it's a matte lipstick and then i'm going in with my sephora highlighter stick and this is just their gold highlighter stick i believe they have a pearl and they have a gold and then I'm blending that out with my finger. I'm kind of using this as a highlighter primer. So I'm using another highlighter over top of this but to make it last longer. And then the highlighter that I'm using is actually from Urban Decay and it's their Lit Highlighter. I am on the fence about this highlighter at the moment. Um, I like it, but I am a fan of like a blinding highlight and it just doesn't give me that blinding effect that I like. And by the way, the brush that I'm using to use for highlighters is my Morphe M501 brush. And I am like obsessed with using this as a highlighter brush. I've literally not been able to put this down as a highlighter brush ever since I started using it as a highlighter brush. So if you need a highlighter brush, I'm going to just let you know right now. Please pick up the M501 because it will give you all types of life. And yeah, just saying my favorite right now. Amazing. And then I'm trying out the Mario Badescu Rose Water, sorry, oh my god, the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea. And instead of the Rose Water one, this is a MAC mascara, it's called Sweaty Betty, and it's just basically a teal mascara. And that is pretty much it. I hope you guys love the video. If you have any requests, please let me know. Um, I have a lot of Instagram posts with a lot of different makeup like pictures and things like that. So if you want to see any of those on, on YouTube, please let me know. Please follow me on Instagram too, by the way. So that's going to be at Shantrina, same name as my YouTube. And yeah, hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.